wonderful people, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah, I'm married to Solo. We have 11 children, including a newborn baby, five boys, six now girls, and I'm going to show you my grocery haul for the month of December. I love grocery shopping once a month. I have done it, I think my whole marriage, almost 20 years, 19 and a half years. And um, when I haven't been able to because of storage or budget, I've done twice a month. I just love getting it all done at once. Mostly for me, it's because I'm not a huge fan of all the food things, all the shopping and preparing and cooking. I do have a large family, obviously people need to eat and it's mostly my responsibility to keep that going for all those meals a day. I don't mind it, I love it. I love the ability to feed my family but I do like to compartmentalize it so it doesn't take up every little part of my life. <laughs> Shopping once a month really helps me. It also helps me stay in budget. We've always budgeted for our food. Sometimes our budget has been very tight, other times it's more lenient and easier to shop within. Uh, but we've always had a budget and that really helps us but not going through a store helps me stay in my budget in other areas because lots of stores have lots of things besides food and has tempting things too. Sure, you can have a string cheese. Okay, let me show you my groceries for the month of December. It took me about an hour, hour and a half at the most yesterday to sit down and plan out our meals so that I make sure I could um, order my groceries online and not forget anything. I use the same menu for breakfast, lunch, and snack that I used last month, so that was very simple. I used a lot of last month's menu for supper, the same, but I felt like soup. I've been feeling like soup a lot, so I added in a few soups, and I checked all my storage areas and to see what I needed to stock up on, and this is the result. I got a pretty tree in the background to make this a little more festive. Let me start in the dairy section. We've got eight packs of these 24 packs of eggs. So eight times 24. Luca, what's eight times 24? He said it's 192. Last month I bought that many, I think, or I had some and bought, bought so that it equaled that many and we ate every single one. We've had not had eggs for the last three days. So we try not to waste food around here. I'm always adjusting quantities because I don't want to waste and constantly checking the refrigerators and all those things. I love to buy ahead, but I don't want to have to throw food out because we bought too much for sure. Got three things of these lunch meats to avoid throwing food out. I put these all in the freezer. I put one in the inside fridge and one in the garage fridge and the rest in the freezer. So when I pull the one out of the garage fridge to move it inside, I put a new one in the garage fridge out of the freezer so it can start thawing. That was very complicated, but that's how I make sure we always have lunch meat thawed and we're eating the one inside and nothing ever goes bad. It works great. I ordered four sour creams. They only gave me two and I checked my receipt. I did pay for four. So I have to go back into Sam's Club. There were a couple things they wouldn't let me get and I'll show you that in this video. I am still going back in there today. This was a pickup haul. So I just have what they gave me. Got some almond milk. I'm really trying to eat low carb. Like I said, I had a baby seven weeks ago. I am a little older than I used to be. It's a little harder to lose the weight. I really have to fight for every pound. So still trying to do low carb for December. I didn't do that great in November. We'll see how it goes, but you'll see a few things reflected on the table of what will help me hopefully accomplish my goal <laughs> for at least most of the month. I'll take a few days off. Heavy whipping cream we got because a couple of the soup recipes and some holiday dessert type things. We got three things of butter. I mean, I gotta make sure I stay in, on, in stock of this. I do freeze this as well, and that works really well. We got string cheese and my kids already opened one of them. I'll put a couple of these out in the garage fridge so they don't see it all the time so we can ration that through the month. Um, otherwise, they would eat many string cheese a day. I don't think that would be that good for them. <laughs> <laughs> we try to space it out for the month. Welcome to the produce section. I'll go through this really quickly. A couple things of asparagus. That would be one meal as a side dish for us. I love salads, so but I eat those. And um, my whole family eats them a lot too in the summer, but in the winter months, it's just more me. Plus, we put these on sandwiches. I will get more of that halfway through the month. A couple bags of oranges. We usually get more than that, but we had some fruit left over from the middle of the month shopping. So we're eating that up first too. Some tomatoes and then the small cherry tomatoes. Yes, everything comes in a lot of plastic here. We got a big thing of carrots. 
lemons and limes. We never quite finished these, I will say, um, but they are so good to have around fresh and I find that they're very affordable in these big bags from Sam's Club. So we really try to get through them all each month, but never quite have yet. We got a thing of sliced mushrooms. We'll get that again halfway through the month. Two bags of Brussels sprouts. That's one meal as a side and they will all be eaten and probably beg for more. My kids love Brussels sprouts. And then we got a couple things of broccoli. I thought this would be a side too, but I actually might just use it for a cheddar broccoli soup that I'm gonna make. Do I keep talking about soup? I don't know why. Four bags of red potatoes. We'll eat through that. Usually, most months we eat through all of that. And I would say with Christmas, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll eat through all of that. And we're doing a potato ham soup, so <laughs> that will help too. We got a big bag of yellow onions and four things of bananas only one bag of apples because we had some apples left over as well welcome to the more processed section of the haul some ketchup for the pantry just to put down there um, storage room this is rotel boy this sure helps for a lot of those winter meals i know it's upside down for you soups and things all kinds of stuff canned corn two boxes of crackers we'll go through this this month because we tend to eat snacks on Sunday evenings if we don't have company over or sometimes if we do but like crackers and cheese and carrots and dip and whatever we just pull out some snacks for an easy supper on Sunday night. Raisins will go for the same thing but I'll put these down in my storage room and some jam also for the storage room. We have plenty in the fridge right now. Salsa for the storage room. I cook with that a lot as well. And pickles will all go to the storage room. We go through at least one of these a month. I just picked up one and they didn't have the massive mayonnaise. So we got more of that. Can't fall behind on that. As for the low carbness happening here, <laughs> these things are so good on salads. Crumbled up a little bit. I had to open the package just to make sure they're good, you know, test them out. Make sure nobody gets sick on them. They're good. I can only eat a few of these at a time if I'm just eating them plain because they're very strong. It's just cheese. But it is low carb and it does provide a great crunch for a salad. Mike has been eating salads with me lately. I love it. These protein bars, they're somewhat low carb. They're not like the lowest of the low carb. I'm not completely low carb. I do eat beans and a little brown rice and a little corn. And this I am willing to have around because once in a while it's just way too busy here and I get very hungry nursing. So to eat one of these bars for a breakfast really helps me once in a while. So I like to keep those around lately. They're pretty good. They're dark chocolate and they're not very sweet so the kids don't beg for them. Um, some, once in a while they eat them but not too much. This is the dessert section. It is Christmas. I was not able to get this at the bulk place I normally do so I just picked up a bag to make sure we had enough for all the baking that will happen at our house. And these will help me when there's so much good baking happening at our house. I do like these a lot. Probably not great for you but they are low carb. They're one, one net carb and they tastes better to me than Reese's peanut butter cups. And then lots of chocolate chips for all the baking. Welcome to the meat section next. We got two trays of chicken thighs. That's not enough, I'm getting more later. That's all they would let me order. And one package of chicken, frying chickens. I'll probably try these in my roaster or Solo will put them on the smoker outside. And we got bacon crumbles. We use those in eggs and salads, blah, blah, blah. Some brats, I'm putting these in the freezer. We'll use those for an easy meal if we need it. A couple bags of cod. This cod, I'm really enjoying it. I'm trying to switch from tilapia to cod and it is more expensive, but it's very good. I really like it and the kids don't mind it either. We got bacon. Luca's been making BLTs for us once a month and I think there was something else I was gonna eat. Ooh, yeah, that cheddar broccoli soup. I'm gonna put some bacon in it too. Yum. Paper plates, just stocking up, stocking up, stacking up, stacking up on stocking the paper plates, whatever. Size one diapers, my little one is growing. So those are for her. I'm not buying more diapers for my two-year-old because my plan is when I run out of what I've stored, which will be in a month or... To, I'm going to potty train him. So we tend to go cold turkey around here. When you potty train, you are out of diapers. You say goodbye to the diapers. So we'll see. Pray for us. <laughs> Tortilla chips. I used to buy emergency pizza. You know those days when you're just like, you forget about dinner completely and you need something or mom and dad want to go out and mom doesn't want to still cook dinner for all the kids. We used to have emergency pizza, which is uh, frozen pizzas that we would just throw in and always had a stash of emergency pizza. 
These days I've been just doing tortilla chips because emergency nachos seems to fill up my big kids better and they they like that. So I've been keeping taco chips around. I get about a box a month and that buys us two emergency meals really if we need them. We got applesauce that we use for breakfast once a week and welcome now to the frozen food section. I love frozen vegetables. They just make life easy. Oh, we're taking some string cheese over here. Love these mixed vegetables. We use these in soups and stews and roasting them or in the microwave. Broccoli, we microwave or roast it easily. And there's actually a, a fish soup we make, fish chowder we make with that. Green beans, we ate some frozen green beans last night with chicken alfredo at the last minute. It's good for last minute vegetable eating. I'm going to be making bread this month. I'm not up to making everything. Like um, I might make hamburger and hamburger and brat buns for the brats. But I'm not quite up to making bagels as well yet. So we bought four bags of these bagels. We used this double pack for one Sunday morning for a quick and easy breakfast before church. Here's another low carb item I got. I got some cream cheese that I really like. I'll show you that in another part of this haul, but this bread is a good low carb breakfast as well with cream cheese. We got a few things of wraps. I actually do eat these once in a while too, just one of them. They're not bad in the carbs and they still help me keep losing weight a little little by little probably sounds like i'm obsessed with losing weight i'm not i'm just i'm used to the weight somewhat falling off in the beginning like just a little a little slowly little by little um and since i've crossed over 40 <laughs> i'm 42 it does not happen it truly does not happen unless i do something like not one pound and so i'm not really obsessed with it i just want to take advantage of this early on part and I talk about food here a lot so it's hard not to talk about it <laughs> okay now I've explained myself too much but I would like to uh, fit into my clothes better you know it's not a lot to ask <laughs> eventually <laughs> honey we got two things of this so four honeys and we haven't been eating our syrup as much so I didn't have to buy that I thought I did my pickup order for um, I did this one for seven to eight a.m. I did not quite get there, seven to eight a.m. Sorry, pick up people. I didn't make the time. I got there by like 8.30, no, 8.45. I thought I had put in my Walmart order for the same time and I was just gonna swing by there too. Turns out I picked seven to eight p.m. So now you're gonna see how different my makeup looks by the end of the day. I'll be back here because I'm gonna show you what I run into Sam's Club for, the few things they wouldn't give me. But in the meantime, check out this Azure standard order that I got a few days ago. By the way, my total there was $750. Today I took a big risk, or this month I should say, Azure standard, you order online and it's delivered in your town or city if it's available in your area once a month. So I don't really get to pick the day, it happens to be the day before Thanksgiving. And so I'm not doing my whole grocery haul on the same day because I wanted to get this. My big risk this month is that we can go through these five pound blocks. We can go through two of them a month. And I wanted to get more than two a month. Sometimes they don't have them available, buying them one at a time. And they are cheaper when you buy the package of eight. So I really wanted to try it. I talked to you guys about it once and many of you told me in the comments you thought it'd be fine in the fridge. The texture of cheese does change a little in the freezer, which would be fine if I was shredding it. So my plan is to put it in the fridge and see if we can make it through it before it goes bad. This is raw milk cheddar cheese aged over 60 days. So it's, does it count as being aged a little longer when it's aging in the fridge in this package? I'm not sure. We love this cheese for cheddar cheese. It slices so well and it shreds well and it's very good clean ingredients very simple and so we'll see how it goes if i feel like it's starting to go bad then i'm going to shred a bunch of it and freeze it and we'll still use it hopefully if i can catch it in time i did get more cheese than that too because they i noticed they had mozzarella cheese in fact several of you in the comments told me to check out their mozzarella cheese so this one after we open it we'll probably shred the rest of the block and freeze it because we don't use mozzarella cheese quite so often i was asking in the vlog about what you guys use for mozzarella cheese without buying pre-shredded stuff just because of the additives that they add when it's shredded and the italians told me you buy the soft cheese you don't use shredded you just break off pieces of it and use that for lasagna and pizza which makes so much sense so we'll do that as well i find shredded cheese though freezes 
very well. So that is another experiment. We got three cream cheese. These are two and a half pounds each. So we freeze it all and then we use, just pull out one at a time and put it in the Tupperware. Go from there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is another cream cheese I tried one time and really liked it. Uh, for myself, but I don't think the kids necessarily cared one way or the other, so I got it again. It has probiotics in it. A lot of probiotics. Otherwise, like everything else from Azure, it's a very clean, good ingredients. Organic pasteurized cream, organic pasteurized non-fat milk, salt, and four strains of lactic cultures, and then live probiotic cultures too. So this was on sale, so I just picked up one of them that I'll use. We got five pounds of powdered sugar. Everything there is organic and it's great prices. That's why I love getting a lot of stuff from there. I wanted to try out some of their beans. I haven't before, and I needed a little of all of them. I wanna just try them out and then we'll probably order bigger sizes. We got pinto beans, garbanzo beans, great northern beans, and black beans. So these are also organic, obviously, and then several of you told us to try out the honey, so we tried that. There were so many to pick from. This is the one we tried this time. It's berry wildflower honey, and it's all raw honey that you choose from there. Seemed like a really good price, actually, especially for raw honey. There were several things I couldn't get because they were out of stock, and that happens. It seems to happen more than ever lately, but I did get these one pound boxes. It came in a box of 10, one pound boxes of dark brown molasses sugar. So this is dark, this is dark brown sugar, and when I say that, I mean it is very dark brown. I opened one so I could show you. As you can see, it's a very dark brown sugar, and it's really good. We've been eating this since the beginning of summer. So our cookies are a little darker than normal. <laughs> That's what we use brown sugar for the most. I ordered lentils, organic cane sugar, and hard white wheat berries, and they did not have any of those. So if they keep not having the hard white wheat berries, I'll start just ordering flour because I don't wanna get too behind in my pantry, <laughs> in my storage area. Uh, my total there, uh, was $364, that cheese is what costs all the money. So I do save money though buying it in bulk. It's an experiment, <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. My actual final bill was not that high at all because a number of you signed up for Azure Standard and when you sign up through my code then I get $25 off the first time you sign up and spend $100 or more. So the fun news for you is if you sign up and like it you actually can have a code that you share with your friends and also get $25 off. So I'll share that down below in the description box if you're interested. No pressure at all if you don't wanna use my code, but I have liked them a lot. I hope they are not continuing to be out of things. <laughs> so if you have a flexible schedule and are able to pick up your food or send somebody for you, I think it might be a good option. My dad just signed up for it too because he wanted to get some stuff and he was able to do that where he's at in Florida and he is liking it as well, so. A couple more things I was gonna tell you about this haul. I considered buying myself like some low carb snacks, dips with veggies and more pork rinds and all the things that are low carb. But I realized that my actual favorite thing to snack on is leftovers. I'm gonna focus more on making bigger meals, slightly bigger so <laughs> that when I'm hungry, which I am a lot, I can go back to leftovers. So that's what I was thinking in that regard. And it also is Christmas this month. We're having company, I know, on New Year's Eve, and Christmas Eve, <laughs> rather, and I don't think we planned the menu, but we know we're gonna do appetizers, so we'll probably end up just having to go do a run to get the little things that we need. So I'm not worried about that. Christmas Day, Belle likes to make a big thing of her homemade cinnamon rolls. I have some sausage already to make a breakfast casserole, and I think we're gonna maybe, if I can talk solo into it, <laughs> do a big brunch, and a lot of our family's out of town. Grandma gets a big Christmas supper at the place she lives at, so I'm thinking that we might like order Chinese and do paper plates. <laughs> we'll see if I talk the rest of them into it. So I'm not worried yet about buying Christmas food, and around New Year's we'll probably eat a ham. We could get that then. I'm not sure if we'll get to do that takeout food thing or not, but I would love to know, are you someone who would consider doing that? I think like if my sister-in-law, Jill, heard me even say that, she'd probably let out an audible gasp. <laughs> are you more like her? <laughs> Luca, what's your vote? Take out Chinese with paper plates on Christmas day for dinner? Oh, or or cook a big meal? <laughs> 
I mean, we already did that for Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. That's my thinking. Uh, Chinese. L listen, no cleanup. No cooking, Chinese. no cleanup. You'd pick Chinese? Nah. <laughs> I'd pick any other takeout. Oh, okay. Like McDonald's? Like sushi or something. Sushi. Oh, if I mention sushi, I think dad will go for it. We could do sushi. <laughs> it's still throwaway. It's good with me. <laughs> when I turned the camera off, he just said that it takes like 20 minutes to do the dishes. That is not true. <laughs> not for those big fancy meals. It takes like an hour and a half to clean up the kitchen totally. All right, for dinner tonight, before I get back to the store, I used the two bags of Brussels sprouts and made balsamic chicken. So I washed and sliced those Brussels sprouts in half and then I cooked them up in some olive oil. Once they were almost cooked, I added bacon crumbles. I think I've made this on the channel before, but I've never added the bacon crumbles. It's a good addition. In the meantime, while I was doing all of that with the Brussels sprouts and cooking them up, I got some chicken going, The one of the pans of chicken thighs and I got that going in the pressure cooker. Got those nice and soft and cooked and then I put them in my KitchenAid to shred them quickly and then I added that in here. I also made a sauce in the meantime which was made out of mayonnaise and balsamic vinegar. I added basil to it and whipped that up. I never make enough sauce so I try to really make a lot more this time because usually I make it and then I make it again. I just kind of do it to taste and add some salt to it until it has a nice tang. And then I mixed all of it together, the cooked chicken, the Brussels sprouts with the bacon, and the sauce. And I added a little more balsamic vinegar at the end. I thought I needed a little more and some more salt. And it's really good. It's only 4.15 around here. I've got meat thawing for tomorrow's dinner, which is a huge win for me. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some brown rice going in the pressure cooker that I already used, which will accompany this meal. And dinner's done. I saved the broth of that chicken to use to make my brown rice. Once in a while I do things that make a lot of sense. And I'm just gonna leave the bits of chicken in the bottom too. Four cups of brown rice is what I do, and six cups of water, or in this case, broth and water. All right guys, it's the end of the day, the end of my day. 7-12, little ones are in bed, cross the finish line. <laughs> um, kind of, they're calling. Mom for pets. So let's, let's, let's go in and deal with them. Okay, I just got my Sam's Club pickup. Not Sam's Club. I'm tired. It's the end of the day. That's why I try to do this at the beginning of the day. I just got Walmart pickup order. And um, Solo went with me. We walked through Sam's Club really quick because they're right next to each other and got the few items I needed mostly. I'll tell you what my budget was and what I ended up spending after I show you this. First of all, we got all the frozen spinach. How many bags? Eight bags of frozen chopped spinach and then eight, I think, of frozen chopped collard greens. We cook with this stuff. We make Kenyan food with it and also put it a lot in quiche, which is an egg dish in the oven. I had some gallons of milk left over because when we shopped for thanksgiving food we just picked up some milk because we were running low so we only needed three more we actually only can fit three more in the fridge right now so that's our limit i ordered eight butternut squash they just had four available these are so easy and convenient if i would have gotten eight we would have made a big butternut squash soup that it calls for cream too it's so good cream cream cheese can't remember but this one under the tree, it's funny. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't get that many, but sometimes when I'm just really hungry, I will put one of these in a frying pan and eat it. I love it. We got these ingredients because at Thanksgiving in our video, Belle made an appetizer that we ended up loving, thought it was amazing, definitely not low carb. And um, we promised to make it in the vlog. So this next video, I think, will make it for you which will come on Tuesday, the video on Tuesday morning. So if you wanna get these ingredients, it's brie cheese, now we're making it kind of double, and some jellied cranberry sauce, and then some sort of puff pastry dough, or we just use this flaky layers honey butter biscuits. Is it easy, Belle? Belle has yeah. left the building. Is it easy, the appetizer? Oh yeah, it's a little, it takes a little time, but it's, 
like the same time whatever. The cottage cheese is for breakfast once a week and then also I'll use it to put in lasagna, which some of you think is weird, but it's a lot cheaper than ricotta cheese, I'll tell you that. Got some canned peeled tomatoes. That's just because we're making our spaghetti sauce with that, so just wanted to stock up. Micah keeps asking me to get horseradish. He loves spicy food and we always eat this if we have like roast beef or something. But I've been getting the kind that's creamed like with the mayonnaise and he'd rather have this. So I remembered finally to get that for him. I think I ordered two cilantro but they gave me three and I thought I ordered one green onion. They gave me two. And then Solo told me, why'd you order green onions? Our, our garden still has green onions. We've had a really unusually warm fall. I forgot about that. And then when I chop them up, I will keep the ends. If I don't use the whole thing, I'll keep the ends in a jar and it will regrow and I probably won't have to buy onions for a while. Green onions anyway. And then the cilantro, I'll put in a cup in the fridge in water, like it's a plant, and it helps it last even the whole month if I need it to, or close. Then I got enchilada sauce. When we have enchiladas, we'll just eat two of these cans. So I got four of them just to put a set in the pantry for later. was with them, I promise. My total at Walmart was $136. I'm sure glad I have a video to film right now. Keeps me from having to do that duty. <laughs> ah, poor Solo. At Sam's Club, they would only let me get at the pickup two trays of th chicken thighs, so I got the other two that I needed for the month. I promise I'm not stockpiling or hoarding all the food. We usually go through four trays a month of chicken, and that's why I bought it because we'll actually use it for our family of 13. <laughs> I guess 12 each. Solo was with me and Sam's like I said and he thought we needed more bacon than what we got. So he asked me, how much bacon did you get? He wants to make bacon for the kids one morning, so that's good. I got these uh, ham steaks because we're doing a ham potato cheese soup that the kids really love. I thought we would do that New Year's Eve probably. These carrots are good for snacking. The ham, carrots, and the bag of red onions, they told me they didn't have. I skipped the candy, how could I skip the candy? The candy is because we do something a little different for our advent calendar and I needed this. But you'll find out later. We actually have this thing that my mom got us a few years ago for our advent calendar, these tiny little drawers. I could maybe fit one little M&M each, maybe. <laughs> For each of them, actually I probably could just easily, but um, what I do is I put a little note in here and sometimes it's eat a piece of candy, go yeah. go drive around and look at lights with uh -huh. drinking hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's doing a Lego nativity project or playing a game together or whatever. So I have a little note in each one of these oh, yeah. and I needed the candy. You never know when the candy will show up, right? Uh, the total there at Sam's Club was $70. So between uh, Sam's Club the second time and Walmart, it's just over $200 and I spent $750 there before. So that's $950 plus Azure Standard, which should have been $360. And my total, my grocery budget total per month is $1,300. So I would have been just over, but because a number of you signed up for Azure Standard and spent $100 your first month and used my code when you did it. Uh, I got a discount there, so I spent more like 110, I think, dollars there. That brings my grand total to, <laughs> okay, now I'm doing math. 950, so 1,060 dollars, I think. That leaves me money for the appetizers we're gonna do Christmas Eve and the fruit and milk and salad stuff that I'll get halfway through the month. So it worked out. Thank you to everybody who used my code to sign up. I really appreciate that and I hope if you like it that you are able to refer your friends and get that blessing back. <laughs> Someone snuck out. I think Solo was on an important phone call, so I need to go take care of that. I did want to say one more thing. I noticed, and I was talking to my husband about this, that as I was planning our meals and then writing down our grocery list of what we need, someone else is hollering, oh, it's gonna be one of those nights, guys. If your parents, you know, 
You know what those nights are. Uh, anyway, I noticed that as, as I was writing down meals, there were a number of meals I did not have to buy anything for, and that's because we really have been stocking up well, keeping our pantry well stocked with an emergency storage, but it's one that's working emergency storage, so we are always eating out of it. Because we have that food, I noticed we're eating beans and rice and those kind of meals a little more often, which I'm good with. I think it's good and healthy for the kids anyway. I don't have to buy ingredients for bread because I have plenty of that, and when I'm running low, I stock up well. I didn't have to buy ingredients for cookie making for Christmas besides those chocolate chips and I guess the sugar because Azure Standard is low on that right now, the one I buy. I know everybody's facing shortages here and there wherever they are probably in the world and that's just the only one I noticed. It really does help to have that pantry. I'm really glad that we spent some of last year building that up and we try to keep maintain it really helps the month to month thing and then that peace of mind of knowing that I have a good three to six months, I'm not quite sure how long it would last us. I'm sure the end of the six months would be sparse eating but we have a number of months of um, being able to eat comfortably if we were not able to get a hold of much food for a while or we had a big emergency in our household. That's been working out really well. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Please come back Tuesday to check out that awesome recipe and thank you again last month to everybody who gave us the great vegan suggestions you guys had so many good ones we had a friend in town and he ended up not eating totally vegan while he was traveling but i got some great ideas out of that so i really appreciate that too we always appreciate your comments especially when they're kind <laughs> thank you guys we'll talk to you later bye bye, bye. Soup, 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 soup.